Hello YouTube, back for another video. Doing a response video for Bean Town 62, Jim. He's doing a 100 plus subscriber contest. And what he wants to know is who do you feel, what player has gotten snubbed from the Hall of Fame? Okay, I'm gonna. My player I'm going with. I don't like this team, but I'm gonna do the player because I kind of liked watching the player when I grew up. Is Ted Simmons. I feel he kind of got snubbed. He he played in the era where they had Johnny Bench, Carlton Fisk, Gary Carter. And he put up similar numbers to them guys. His home run totals was down. I think that was a large part to do to his uh, switch hitting. I think if he would have stuck to one side of the plate, I think he would have had the 300 plus home runs like the other guys did. His batting average is a lot better than the other three. I think Ted Simmons had a career batting average of 285. Uh, Johnny Bench was 267, Gary Carter at lifetime 262, Carlton Fist 269. Hits, he had more hits than any of the three. He had 2,472 2, hits. The Bench is 2,048. Carter had 2,092. Carlton Fist 2,356. So those are all pretty close there, but he had more hits than he, them other three. Home runs, Bench had 389, Carter 324, Carlton Fisk 376, which Ted Simmons only had 248, which I think that's due to his batting. RBIs, he had more than all three of them too. He had three, 1,389 RBIs. Bench had 1,376, Carter 1,225, Carlton Fist 1330. And all four of them scored over a thousand runs. And he he caught just as many games as the rest of them. Bench played in 2,158 games. Ted Simmons played in 2,456. Of course, he played for St. Louis. He came up in St. Louis in 68. He played all the way to 88. So he played 21 seasons. Played most of them with St. Louis. Then they got traded to Milwaukee. Then he went to Atlanta to finish his career out. He was a 10th round draft pick in 1967. Eight time All-Star. But I kind of feel he got snubbed because of the era he played with. The players that he played with. And his batting average was better than the other three. But his home run total was down. But I think the veterans committee will eventually write him in. I think he's a sure Hall of Famer. I got to see him play in 1975. I watched the Reds and the St. Louis Cardinals play in Riverfront. And the Reds shut them out. But I got did get to see him play. So that's it, Jim. Congratulations on 100 plus subscribers. I hope you like my video. Till next time, everybody. Later.